So, you know, he came from Rajasthan. Uh, his service life started when he was 12 and, uh, you know, he wanted to clean up the street on which he lived. And uh, one man, he said, I'll clean it all up. And then he got to commit the whole uh, street people, all the neighbors to come and take certain actions and so on. And so that spirit was there in him. And uh, when he started making first income, 25 rupees a month, he wanted to give at least 5% away to help someone. 25 was nothing for me. He had His need was 100, 200 rupees. But he wanted the 25. He said, I got 25. Or oh, somebody is, needs that money even more than me. So what can I do? So he would help people every which way, not with money, then with advice, with inspiration, with connections, uh, standing surety. He did all kinds of things. And we know that he would lift people from the street with his arms, put him in his car, take him to the hospital, to take him to whatever place. It, he had just no hesitation at all. So uh, we have had so many stories of random people, strangers uh, coming. And so, you know, I mean, there's another story that we know that uh, somebody from the community came to him, some young person with some spark. And um, so the family was not well off the parents would fast so that they would save some food for the children. It was in that situation. So this boy had some spark. So he said, you know, you're doing all these menial jobs. Why don't you start something? So what can I start? Mm -hmm. So father gave him 100 or 200 rupees or something. He became a hawker on the street, hawking things, mm -hmm. hankies and naphthalene balls and things like that. In 10 years time, he opened a store in one of the suburbs in Bombay. Then he opened multiple stores. That's great. Yeah. So his blessing and his inspiration for people, I mean, has been absolutely magical. And you can imagine if we are his children, how blessed are 